Are deepfakes the end of blackmail? I think they could be. I was thinking about this today, and that's my question of the day for a whole entire podcast episode on um, on Fake Smart later. But yeah, it occurred to me this morning. Well, it's actually a thought I've had before, but there was a story about that came out about Rishi Sunak, who's the prime minister in the UK, about there they found over a hundred deep fake videos on Facebook that had been purchased as ads by someone. I'm not sure if they even know who it was that purchased them, but they had determined that they were deep fake ads. <clears throat> and the the context of the article was that this is the last election that will ever well, even this election is potentially going to be influenced by deep fakes already but that this would be the last election that we could kind of trust anything. And I agree with that. But I also thought about the fact that a lot of times people make videos and they say, oh, they're going to blackmail you with this video or that video, or you've done something, or they've caught you. This whole thing around Epstein Island, right? Like they're saying that this was the whole crux of the thing is that they've got videos of all these people doing this stuff with kids. Well, the thing is, is that if somebody does something like that in the future, all, let's say someone is guilty. If they want to offset that, what they can do is they can just flood the internet with deep fakes that are around the same topic. And then they can just, essentially what happens is, is that anytime anybody sees one, they'll just think it's a deep fake and they won't believe it. Which I think is an interesting wrinkle on the, the whole deep fake saga. And... Yeah, that's going to be a really interesting thing. So that's my topic for today. So I'm trying to add one new podcast idea a day. Just like I said last night, I think it was like, you know, just so that I have different topics on all sorts of things and things that just creep up during the days. I have enough now that I think I might start recording some episodes. I just need to find a few people to talk to who want to come on and, and talk about some of these issues and then we'll start recording that. And then as soon as that's ready, as soon as I have sort of three or four in the can, then I will put them up and I'll share links with everybody here if you want to go and see that. But yeah. So there we go. That's one thing. Number two is you'll notice that I've changed the banner and I've added, improved the banner a little bit with a bit of branding for fake smart guy. Don't know if I'm going to keep that. I did a Life by Mis Misadventure, one that's the same sort of format, but just with a different channel name. I really do think that I want to I want to change the name to that. No one's commented, but that's okay. I didn't expect anybody's watching these videos except for my mom anyway, and she, she'll send me a WhatsApp. But yeah, I think it might work better since I am going to have the podcast and I do plan on doing that. I think it would be better to have something that's totally separate and unique and different. So look out for that. I think I still have another week to wait before I can update the name again. So I just have to sit tight and wait. And then as soon as I can do that, I can do that. Number three. I wanted to talk about was the terrible quality of the video last night. I have no idea what happened. I I did go back and check the raw files that were recorded at the time. So the tool I'm using, the way I'm doing this at the minute and what I've settled on at the minute is, is I just open up QuickTime, do a new video recording. I just record in 4K and then I upload that and I I've been doing it in Adobe Rush just because it was easier and faster because I don't do anything to these videos. I, I literally, we had the one where I put some B-roll in and maybe played around with trying to do some lower thirds and things like that. But generally speaking, I, I haven't really done a lot with them. So I just open up, I do a transition in the beginning and end. So it just fades in and fades out. And then it's just me talking. I do a slight bit of color grading to try and make it look a little better, sharpen it up maybe, or whatever, and adjust the sound a little bit. And literally that's it. And then I just upload it and it's there. So I, I want that. I want the raw, as raw as it can be, 
because I'm never going to get any better if I start doing tons of edits and all that sort of stuff. So I want to get to the point that I can record most stuff pretty well without having to do ed too many edits to it anyway before I get into adding tons of jump cuts and all sorts of stuff, trying to take the ums and ahs and all mistakes and pauses and all that stuff out. So I'm not a YouTuber. This isn't like a fancy YouTube channel. I don't feel that I need to do all that. But it's all about the editing practice. So at some point I will start doing that because I need to get better at my editing, which comes back around to the quality last night. I think the quality... So that happened in Adobe Rush. I don't know what happened, but the files that got uploaded to YouTube, maybe it was, well, when I looked at it in Adobe Rush, it still had that graining, which I didn't realize it did, but the original files didn't. So I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'll leave them or if I'll try and redo them. What I'm going to do is tonight I'm going to use Premiere Pro and I'm just going to use Prem to edit these tonight. I should be able to do the same thing in pretty much the same amount of time, which is, and Prem is the one I really want to use anyway. So I should just get used to using that. So it might take me a little bit longer, but it's earlier tonight. So that's okay. Anyway, I apologize for that. It was terrible. I have, again, have no idea what cost it to do that. So hopefully we won't have that problem again. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Got a concert seeing Gomez tomorrow night, which will be really cool in Tumbridge Wells. And the cool thing about where we're seeing him is it's the venue. Um, and it's like 200 people. It's called the forum. And it's, it's actually fairly famous for, for bands as they're growing and playing around the UK. It's one of those iconic venues that every band needs to play. And I think Gomez isn't the band. They're, they're not the band Gomez, but it's, the lead singer of Gomez, who's going to be here tomorrow night. And that's going to be really cool because my wife and I both like Gomez. So we think it'll be interesting and take my son along because he needs to go to concerts. And there's only going to be like 200 people there. So bonus. That'll be pretty cool. Intimate environment. Nice show. Hopefully it'll be really good. So excited about that. Um, did some work. What you might see coming soon is today I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make the outro bit at the end of a video where it comes up and sort of says, you know, please subscribe and, you know, thank you for watching. And, you know, here's the most recent video and here's the one that you might like. So it's the thing that YouTube can do at the end, but you need to create a nice looking template that goes underneath it. So I'm working on creating that template. So in the next couple of episodes, hopefully you'll see that start appearing at the end once the once the actual video is finished. So working on that again, trying to practice on that on this channel before I try and go and do it for any of my other channels or any of the other shows that I'm doing at the minute. So that's coming as well. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it for today. So feeling good. Oh yeah, I put this on my diet channel, but it's probably worth just mentioning because most people can relate, but I was able to go in an extra belt notch today. So some of the weight loss that's happening because of the diet is actually having some effect because my trousers are falling down. So I had to, um, I had to tighten my belt up a little bit. So that was a cool thing that happened today as well. But there we go. Anything other than that, I think that's it for today. So we will see you tomorrow, probably after the concert. But anyway, have a good evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.